Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a video on, on where I've been. I haven't filmed a video in two to three months now. I got really busy this summer. And um, primarily what I was busy with is that um, I had another relative, I can't say who because they haven't announced it, but I have another close relative that got diagnosed with Parkinson's. And um, it's been kind of a different journey for me having some, someone this close with Parkinson's. And um, it's been a hard time because the person is not accepting the fact that they have it. And I know some of us went through that, that period and I know that person also had a hard time when I was diagnosed. For a long time they kept wanting me to keep testing and keep open about not definitely thinking that I had Parkinson's. But after a while I finally told that person that I'm okay with having Parkinson's because it could be, you know, if it's not Parkinson's, what is it? It could be something a lot worse. And finally that person did accept the fact that I had Parkinson's. But I guess since I, that person's close to me and that person now knows a lot about Parkinson's, I think I was kind of surprised that they weren't so accepting to the fact that they have Parkinson's. And it's made a kind of difficult situation where I used to talk to that person a lot about Parkinson's, but now I can't even say anything about it. And a lot of the times, I it, it's hard because I spot symptoms in that person that I, you know, I'm not a doctor, so I can't say for sure that it's Parkinson's symptoms, but it's something that I went through. But it's really hard now because if I say something, they'll say that I think everything is Parkinson's, which could be true, but um, yeah, they're not willing to at, to admit that any symptom is due to the Parkinson's. And this person does have a noticeable tremor. I, I didn't have a tremor then, but they do, and this person is considerably older than I am. So right now, the doctor said that the person doesn't have to take medication, although there are a lot of symptoms that this person didn't tell the doctor that they have, and although I'm close to this person, I don't feel like it's my, you know, business or my job to tell the doctor and be honest with the doctor, and I know we've all been through that, and it isn't so much, not so much that this person is keeping the truth from the, from the doctor. But if you remember, or at least I remember, that there was so many different symptoms that some of the things I either forgot to tell a doctor or I automatically assumed it wasn't a big deal or I had already adjusted um, to life with that symptom. Um, yeah, that's what I did a lot was adjust to, to having that symptom for many years. And don't forget, I've just been diagnosed three years ago, but I think I've had Parkinson's for about 20 years and I've been dealing with it. So I've been going to a lot of appointments um, for, for this person because I kind of guessed that this person had Parkinson's when I got diagnosed and I did talk to the person and I think the person did realize that they had symptoms because they also have other family members with that with, the, with those symptoms and have been diagnosed with Parkinson's, but um, but this person didn't you know didn't want to go to the doctor. But then finally, when this person did go to a neurologist, they were diagnosed in the first in the first visit. And that kind of surprised me too. I had to get used to that because it, it was like a year and a half before I got diagnosed. So I was kind of surprised when the doctor told this person that they had um, Parkinson's, but maybe it's because this person was much older and the person had a noticeable tremor. So I've been dealing with that pretty much all summer, which means that my regular routine, which is really important to me, kind of got out of whack. So. To be honest, I haven't been exercising, um, you know, on and off, but not like I was. And I haven't been um, dancing, included in that. 
Um, recently I started that back up and it's not like I used to do it like three, three days and now I do it like once a month. And yeah, so I've just been like real busy um, with doing those things and being out of my routine and being more stressed out about what's happening with this person, um, it's made my Parkinson's symptoms a little bit worse, especially in the area of fatigue and, and um, stiffness. So I'm going to be working on that and then I kind of miss doing the videos and I've been wanting to do a video for a long time but it's like I just couldn't get to it. But now I think I'm slowly going to come back and uh, so hopefully you see much more of me. So I'll see you guys later. I just want to explain where I've been. And if you want to leave a comment, you can in the comment box. And I'll talk to you guys later.